The stronger you are, the more muscle mass you have, the greater your survivability. Furthermore, the more fat that becomes infiltrated into your skeletal muscle mass, the less likely you are to survive anything. If you understand the impact that skeletal muscle mass will have on your health and your patients and your client's health, then you cannot have a conversation without talking about muscle. Listen, people are only, your clients are only going to ever be as inspired by you based on how you care for yourself. We can agree upon that, right? It's just like my kids. They don't listen to what I say. They listen to what I do and they see who I am. These disciplines, these ways of being and these ways of thinking about skeletal muscle mass, if you can understand and impress upon yourself the importance of it, then you can share it with other people. Clinical evidence that your muscles are unhealthy. Your body fat is greater than 30%. And I would argue to say, if you are inactive, if someone you know is inactive, they have unhealthy skeletal muscle. If you have elevated blood pressure, your blood sugar is high, fasting blood sugar. Because again, where is the site for glucose disposal? Someone says skeletal muscle. I promised myself that I wasn't going to make you guys answer, but someone did. I'm so happy. Blood lipid triglycerides. I worked on some of these early studies. I'm going to show you some of the data that we have. Blood triglyceride levels. If you have elevated levels of triglycerides, you have unhealthy skeletal muscle. You are not able to manage the dietary uh, patterns that you are putting on your body. Waist circumference, here you go. And what is so fascinating, friends, is that do you understand that this is what people will say is metabolic syndrome? This is unhealthy skeletal muscle. That's what this is. Metabolic syndrome is a symptom of unhealthy skeletal muscle. Muscle is stimulated in two main ways. Contraction, notice, contraction, and resistance-ish exercise. We have to contract skeletal muscle. It is the only way to stimulate it. Remember, sedentary muscle is unhealthy skeletal muscle because there is a decrease in flux. It's kind of like when you go to pack for um, a trip. I don't know about you, but let's say I'm going on a trip for four days and I decide that I'm going on a trip for four days and I pack for 30. Hasn't happened to anyone here. I already know. You can all close your suitcase. Skeletal muscle is the same. If you are overeating and you are under exercising and your muscle is like a suitcase and you're packing all this stuff in, there's nowhere for these substrates to go. 